Have you ever wanted to just be able to press a key on your keyboard and make your entire camera zoom in like this and change your FOV and lower your camera sensitivity? And of course you want to do it on Bedrock because for whatever reason that's the version that you play. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. As you can see, all I'm doing is pressing the C key on my keyboard, although you can change it to any key you want, and it zooms in by lowering my FOV, and it also lowers my sensitivity as well, so that I'm not moving the camera all herky-jerky all over the place. So hello humans, I'm the Alien Doctor, but you can call me Alien, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use this, which is the FOV Changer. It only works on the PC version of Bedrock Edition, of course, but seen as that's pretty much the only version that you'd be using a mouse and keyboard on, that's probably not going to be an issue. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So firstly, you're going to want to head to this link in the description, which will link to a GitHub page for this FOV changer. Now credit where credit is due, this FOV changer was created by someone known as x -Rux. Not sure if I'm saying their name correctly, but that is the creator of this FOV changer. Now you can see here that they do have a Discord, which you could join if you need support or help with this software, but we're going to take a look at the download. So if you simply click this download directly, it should trigger download and you can save this wherever you want. However, it needs to be something that you can save it because you are going to need to keep this file on your computer to be able to run it. But anyway, I'm just going to save it there. And once it's finished downloading, you should have a .zip folder like this. If you right click and press extract all and then press extract, you can extract that .zip folder to just a regular folder. You can now delete the original .zip if you want to because we have this folder up here, which is the FOV changer. So we're going to open that. And inside here, we're going to have the FOV changer, the license, and also the source code. So these two files are pretty simple. The license is just showing the license that this software is under, and the source code is just a link to the GitHub page, and that can be opened in any regular text editor, such as Notepad++. But anyway, we're not really here for either of those, so you're actually going to want to double-click this exe, and it's probably going to come up with a Windows Defender for you. If it does, then there should be an option where you could just press allow or run or something like that. So this is a completely safe application. All of the source code for it is open source, meaning that you can like view all of the source code here to see that it does not contain any sort of malware or virus. Over on Virus Total, there is two antivirus software that will detect it as malicious. However, if we head over to Community, this is to do with PY Installer. So anyway, back on the FOV changer, the main thing that you're going to want to do is press start to actually start the FOV changer. But before that, let's just change a couple of settings. So we have start minimized and auto attach. Now, personally, I quite like the auto attach feature being on. What this does is when you first open the FOV changer, it will automatically start it so that you don't have to manually press the start button. I'm going to go ahead and press save to actually save the auto attach feature because it's quite nice. And then these ones you don't really need to worry about. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead and press start now. And as you can see here, it has all of these ticks, which essentially mean everything is working as expected. It's connected, it's an on and okay version, and it's got all of everything else sort of ready. Now you'll notice here there is a Discord feature. Now what this Discord feature does is actually show the connected server and the, connect and the Minecraft version you're playing on on your Discord profile. So for example, if I were to join Hive, you can see here that if I press the V key, which is what it's currently set to, it changes my FOV and lowers my sensitivity as well, which is exactly what we want. And then if we open Discord and check on my profile, you can see here that it says I'm playing in the Hive and that it says I'm playing on that Minecraft version. Now, I personally prefer to actually disable the Discord feature purely because it displays the IP address of whatever server you're on, and I don't want to accidentally leak the IP of a server I'm playing on. So to disable the Discord feature, you can simply just press this button here. So some other stuff you may want to change is, well, which key you use to activate the FOV changer. So by default, it's set as V. Personally, I prefer C. And then we could also press edit here, and this will change your default FOV and then the FOV that it zooms into. So it, zo so it starts out at 80 FOV. So my FOV right now is at 80. However, when I press the C key, it will change that FOV to 30. So that's all okay for me. And then you've also got some options here, such as being able to hide the hand and also change the sensitivity as well. And you can change the sensitivity and hiding hand here like that. 
And sometimes for it to like re-trigger these settings, you may just need to stop it and start it again. And you can enable and disable all of these features and obviously edit them here. But that's pretty much it for the FOV changer. As far as I'm aware, it works on all servers and things like that. You may need to check with the server owners or admins if it's allowed on the server, but it's pretty, pretty standard for Bedrock Edition for a while now. So as far as I'm aware, it's not really banned anywhere. One thing to point out is that when a Minecraft version first releases, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to actually update, but you sh normally don't have to re-download it or anything. It just updates by itself. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. So if you have any questions or need any help, then don't forget to comment down below or join my Discord and ask in the technical help channel. You can also check out the creator's Discord for specific help with this software as well. But that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video coming soon. Bye bye.